Hey guys, this is the Great Jedi and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing a non-spoiler review for the first episode of The Mandalorian. I won't be going into depth because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. I am thinking about doing a spoiler review soon, so stay tuned for that if I decide to do it. If that is something you guys would be interested in seeing, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's jump into the review. When going into this, I had high expectations and I would say that they were met and it is so far living up to the hype. I like how it is its own unique story set in the Star Wars universe and how it's not involved in the Skywalker saga. It did its own thing and it's a good different. It's still Star Wars and you still get that Star Wars feeling. The music and action sequences were on point from what you'd expect from Star Wars. I really liked the gangster outer rim bounty hunter feel to the main character and how he ended up having some pretty good character development throughout the first episode. I'll be honest, I was a little bit worried at first because it's Disney Star Wars, but I was gladly proved wrong. One thing I didn't like was how some of the species looked different from what they looked like in the movies. Looking back at it, it was fine, but it was just something that caught my attention. Another thing I really liked about it was the plot and the story. I'm not going to go into detail about it in this review, but in my opinion, they set up a really good story for episode one. The show really got me thinking and kept me engaged. I have a lot of questions from some of the things that were brought up, so I'm looking forward to the future episodes that they have in store for us. When watching it, I did notice some Easter eggs that people would enjoy. Um, they, they did throw in a lot of hints and references to things. Some people may call that fan service, but I was fine with it. It wasn't overdone at all in my opinion. I thought it was just the right amount. Overall, I thought it had a good plot and I'm curious where they are going to go with it next because there are so many possibilities and directions they could go do with it since it takes place in between episodes 6 and 7. They have 30 years to work with. It was a really good first episode and I really liked it. For the first episode, I gave it an overall score of a 9 out of 10, which is really good. I highly recommend this TV show so far and I can also and I'm also someone who doesn't like the sequel trilogy or Disney Star Wars. So this is definitely a big step in the right direction. Also, I really like the people behind the show because they really know Star Wars in their specific areas of what they're good at. For example, people like Dave Filoni and John Favreau. Um, Dave Filoni has worked with George Lucas on the Clone Wars animated TV series as well as Star Wars Rebels and now he is doing this. Um, John Favreau is known for a lot of his Marvel work, so these people that are working on The Mandalorian really know what they're doing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and tap the notifications bell if you guys like this type of content. I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. This is The Great Jedi. See you later, and may the Force be with you always.